Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone's doing really, really well. It's super hot this weekend. I hope everyone's enjoying summer. It's kicking into gear, but I'm just chilling in my apartment today. It's too hot to go outside. I was brainstorming a script for the video. So just gonna do this video with a good camera. Don't have to go outside and sweat too much, but basic video today and the topic I wanted to cover, I was thinking about is all related to software trends and keeping up with those trends, all right? Let's do it. The audience for this video is anyone who's very stressed out and not just any kind of stress, this is a very, very particular kind of stress, but this is the stress any software developer or any technologist would feel when they're trying to keep up to date with the latest and greatest technologies, all right? So I worry about this a lot. Some days I worry about this a lot more. Some days I don't care so much about it or I forget about it, but Keeping up with the trends is something that every single person in software thinks about. And if you're watching and you stress out about this, just make, just be sure that you're not alone in this. I think about this a lot, everyone thinks about this a lot, and it's pervasive. So that's the first point. Second quick point about this is that if you're feeling stressed out about this, just imagine you and me, we're just software developers, like here, right? We're software developers at the bottom, but combine, 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 and all the way at the top, even the top companies in the world are stressed out about this stuff. There's a reason why two, three, four more companies are getting into self-driving cars. There's a reason why Apple's just getting into augmented reality and virtual reality. Even the top companies, they stress out about this probably more than you and me stress out about this, all right? So that's the point, that's the second point I wanna make, is just that everyone from individual software developer, individual technologists, all the way up to huge elite company, everyone is stressing. Finally, let's just touch upon the nature of the field, right? If you're watching this video and you've decided to get into software or get into technology, you kind of know what you signed up for, right? The basic premise of tech, this industry, whatever you wanna call it, the basic premise of it is that it always has to be progressing, right? If it wasn't progressing, something would be wrong. And if you aren't progressing with it, you're probably gonna be left behind, right? But that's almost table stakes. We all know that when we signed up to pursue this profession, but technology, just the, just the essence of it is that it's all based on progression. So let's just dive into this a little more. I wrote a bunch of notes here about my current, my thoughts just about all this trend stuff because nobody likes to just follow trends blindly, right? It doesn't feel good. Like everyone else is doing it, so you have to do that. That never feels good, right? It's like a follower feeling and no one, no one at their heart really wants to be too much of a follower. Everybody wants to be a trendsetter, but there's also a practical, practical aspect of this that we can't forget. So two major things I wanna talk about in this video. First is how to stay aware and always keep your mind thinking about what's trending and what's not trending. So that's just being aware of things, being aware of the environment. And the second thing, the second thing is more actionable. The second thing I wanna talk about is what actions can we do personally to align ourselves better with the trends. So first thing, how to be aware of it. Second thing, actions, all right? Let's get straight into it. You don't have to think about this a lot, but you do have to periodically, every once in a while, spend a little bit of brain power and just think about some of these topics, right? Because if you completely neglect this, it's not good. So the first thing I wanna say, just to be aware of the trends is that you do have to spend some brain power thinking about it. You can't always be working in a cave just on what you love. You have to be a little bit aware, aware of what's going on outside. There's some no-brainer trends that have been going on for decades and they're probably still going on. The biggest no-brainer trend is obviously web apps, the internet, and all applications that sit on the internet. You know, Jeff Bezos, Jack Ma, all, a lot of crazy leaders in this world still think the internet has huge potential left. Even though it's decades, it's still trending. There's still a lot to be done with the internet and that's why you know javascript's blowing up web apps are like the primary thing you learn if you're just getting into the field but internet isn't going anywhere and that's probably the biggest no-brainer of what's what has been trending and what's still trending with that said there's also certain parts of the internet that have kind of died down over time right if you guys have heard of a company called cisco cisco is um 
a giant company. They were huge in IT and networking, and they played a major part in developing the infrastructure, the networking for the internet. So that's when the internet was blowing up, how did you connect the whole world? Well, companies like Cisco played a huge part in doing that. But what they kind of missed out on was that they were just on the infrastructure layer, but they kind of missed out on the application layer, right? Companies like Cisco, they did a lot for tech, but now they're not really like the hot company anymore. That's just the gist of it. But in the next section, I wanna just give everyone a list. I just brainstormed a quick list here of things that I think are trending upwards. All these things that are trending upwards, it's hard to predict. I can't predict them. I'm just kind of aware of them. Not many of us are Elon Musk trying to build tunnels under cities. We're not building the future. So if you are, that's awesome, do it. But the least you can do is just be aware of what's kind of trending. So some of the things I wrote down were blockchain technology, anything related to augmented reality or AR, anything related to AI, virtual reality, is trending, um, anything to do with cars, anything to do with self-driving, internet of things, but that's just a list. I'm not a master at any of these, I doubt anyone is a master at all of those things, but that's just a quick list of things to be aware about that are kind of potentially up and coming, right? So that's an example of being aware of what's getting more popular, but also equally important, you have to be aware of things that are getting less popular. One technology that I think is losing popularity, not really losing popularity, but just less novel, is the whole era of mobile application development. So when the first iPhone came out, that was revolutionary, right? That started the whole trend of iPhone, iOS, you know, Android coming out, like everyone started getting a smartphone and everybody needed a mobile app. So that created a ton of mobile developers. Everybody kind of rushed to build mobile apps um, and during that time, it was the hot new thing. But now in 2017, I think mobile apps is just table sticks. It's not really novel in any, any way. It's like you're almost expected to have a mobile app. Everyone has a smartphone and it's just, it's like a website now. Of course you have a website, of course you have a mobile app and it's not as, you know, differentiating as it used to be. The conclusion is after whatever I just said, the only thing to remember is that all you have to do is spend a little bit of your brain power and just think about what is gaining in popularity and what's losing in popularity. And you know, no one's really a fortune teller, we're not soothsayers, um, but it's good to just think about every now and then. The second, second part of this video, which is almost more important, but the second thing I wanted to talk about is what we can do personally to try to keep up with these trends. It's one thing to just be aware of it, it's another thing to do your best to keep up with it, which is the root cause of a lot of stress. A lot of stress for me, probably a lot of stress for you as well, but for everyone. So what can we do about it? Like I mentioned at the start of this video, we're all worried about the trends, keeping up to date about those trends, but companies, big companies are probably even more worried about that stuff. and. One of the easiest ways, not easy, but one of the ways you can stay up to date is you just stay with a company and the company stays up to date. So let's just give some examples. If you aligned yourself with Google, if you could get into Google, you'd probably be better off today than if you joined Yahoo. If you joined Amazon, you'd probably be better off today than if you joined uh, eBay. Or if you joined, if you're a software developer working at Tesla, you might be more aligned with the trends than if you decided to take a job at Ford Motors. So that's, this is very idealistic. I know this is really idealistic, but the easiest way to align yourself individually with the trends is to align yourself with a company that's also trending. So I just named some elite companies, right? Not many of us can work at those elite companies, but I just want to get across this premise is that when you decide to go to work for a company, it's gonna be a very personal decision for you. And sometimes you won't have a lot of options, sometimes you will have a lot of options, but in terms of this whole trending concept, even if you can't work at the elite companies, you still have to work at a company which is still, which has some long-term vision, trying to do things different ways. And that could be any small company, medium-sized company, they could still have that vision. What you don't want to do is work at any company that's still a little, you know, in the old days. And you can get a sense of that if you talk with them. 
So that's point number one. It's the easiest point I have. It's almost like a no brainer, but no matter how big, how small of a company you decide to work for or even start if you're trying to start a company or work for a company, but if you align yourself with a company that's really forward thinking, you will just naturally be along with the trends. Number two is really easy. This is something I'm trying to do a lot. This is something everyone should do, but this is personally staying up to date with all the new technologies. So in the previous section, I'll just bring the list back up here, but all these previous technologies, uh, we brainstormed AR, VR, AI, but you can also, don't have to dive really, really deep into them. You can if you wanna dive really, really deep, but what I like to do, and I have to do better at this, is I have to become, we have to become much, very literate in all of these technologies. So I've taken a really, really basic intro level course to like AI, but I still know nothing really about AI and machine learning, and I have to make that area stronger given how the world is moving, right? So that's something personal I need to do, and that's something that everyone can do, right? You can just educate yourself a little more, learn the vocab, know the knowledge, know the basic foundation of the newer topics, right? There's nothing stopping us from just taking a little more AI courses now or getting into VR programming or trying to make an AR app. We can do that on our own. So that's point number two. We just have to self-initiate some of that stuff. Point number three, last point I wanna make is about building your base and not skipping. And I'm gonna tell you almost exactly what I think is the most valuable thing to learn for this section. So when I say no skipping, this is kind of intuitive, right? You can't just jump into AI. You can't just become an AI machine learning programming, a cybernetic organism if you don't know programming, right? So first there's just no skipping. So these are my three things that I think every single software developer needs to get a really good grasp control over and that's computers software and the internet all right it's really broad but it's really important so computers computers are not going anywhere they're not going to disappear or go out of popularity computers are here to stay and you have to understand how computers work anything you do to better understand computers will help you next point software Software is also not going anywhere. Software is almost like a new language, right? So like even no, a lot of non-technical people are getting much more interested to learn the basics of software just because it's the new tech lingo that everyone has to kind of understand. But software, crafting good software, understanding software design, just knowing how languages work, that is not going anywhere. So you don't have to worry about that. Just like always learn software super, super well and only good things can come. Finally, the last one, the third one I have that is a must to know is the internet. So many people think the internet's old, right? It was invented decades ago, but look at it today. There's a reason why everyone learns web app development. Internet is not going anywhere. So you have to really understand first how the internet works, what the cloud means, and just have a really good control over the internet because it's really, it's not going anywhere. Whatever we built in the future, whatever crazy AR, AI, VR, whatever craziness, even cars, all that stuff is gonna be built on the internet, so you have to understand it. So that's my last, that's my third and last point of how to keep up with the trends, but it's not counterintuitive if you think about it, but just to keep up with the trends, you need to continually create your base or make your base much stronger. The better you understand computer software and the internet, the more ready you will be to take on some of those new and crazier things. Like maybe if I make this video five or 10 years from now, like the fourth thing might be AI, who knows, right? But continually making your base stronger will just make it easier for you to adopt the trends. You can't just start from zero to machine learning. It doesn't work like that. All right guys, I wanna stop this video here before it gets way too long. Overall, I just wanted to talk about some of my thoughts on computer software and how it trends or just trends in technology. Just always remember, everyone worries about this. I worry about this a lot. I try not to. I think four or five years ago, I was, like, I was losing sleep over some of this stuff, but I've tried to you know, take small baby steps and worry about this less, but everyone, not just you, I worry about this a lot too. Everyone worries about this. Bill Gates worries about this. Every single elite company to small company worries about this, but it's just the nature of the industry. So that's what we signed up for. 
All right, guys, please like the video. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Maybe spark some discussion about this. I don't know if what I said was controversial or not controversial, but give me a like and I'll catch everyone next week. All right, take care.